Oh, what's up? What's up, my beautiful soul subscribers? How y'all doing? It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Thank you guys for continuing for your continued love and support for my channel. If this is your first time joining, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification button for when I'm coming with the latest, y'all. We are at the pool. It is such a beautiful day out today, y'all. Y'all see what's going on? Y'all see? I'm outside at the pool. Got my little ones with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Just out here enjoying this energy, enjoying the sunlight. We don't get it too often here. And then after that, I'm going to be hitting the gym. All right. So let's pull some energy here. Mother Isis, Father God, as I open these realms, give me clear and honest messages for those who need to hear it. All right. We got reunion. Soul tie here. Okay. So this is absolutely a soulmate. All right. Oh, what else is going on here? Memories, nostalgia. So I absolutely telling me this is a um, past life energy. I automatically is that what I'm picking up here. Okay. Ooh. This person wants to come back in union with you. Okay. Hi. Okay, what else we got here? This person is now open to receiving the highest love. That's what I take this as, open to receiving, yeah. Okay. One more, and this is a destined partnership, fate. Okay, I feel like this person has been through, I feel like this person has tried to replace your energy. They really have, okay. But see, all the other reunions, I feel like whatever this reunion is, they probably went back to somebody from their past as well. Okay. All right. Yeah. Some of them probably went back to somebody from their past. But see, you see how the sunlight is around this card right here in my collective? This one is a divine union, divine um, di divine intervention here, divine, divine counterparts. Okay. All right. Strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. Empowerment here. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's get the message of love oracle and then we're gonna pull the tarot on this, okay? Mm. I'm picking up possibility there was somebody here that had them under a soul tie energy as well. All right, all right, yeah. But the whole time they were there under this soul tie, um, I feel like I, I'm picking up more like with this reunion soul tie. It's like they've been in a, a karmic life cycle with this karmic energy, okay? Yeah, yeah, because this is the real divine union right here, okay? And that's why spirit brought it down. I feel like with the nostalgia, energy, memories, this person was in that relationship, but uh, this person know that the person who they were with um, was not the real one. They were not, they, they weren't the real one, but I feel like somebody was here, and I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it how I feel it. This person was definitely under some type of illusion, some type of a manipulation with this soul tie right here. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But with the divine intervention, detours, and fate, you guys are the real destined partnership, okay? All right, and this person is now realizing that. I feel like they've gone through a tower moment. They're going through an awakening right now with this detours and the detours and the chaos and the upheaval. This person is going through an awakening as well. I feel like them soul ties are being broken if this person was under type of any type of manipulation or illusion, okay? It says this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. That's the union right here, okay, as I split the deck. All right, and it says longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. That's the nostalgia and the soul tie right here, okay? Yeah, definitely. Didn't I tell you this person's going through an awakening? All right, now, I know what I'm talking about right here. This person was in this relationship over here, and they were secretly yearning for you. There go the fake card again, all right? These cards are shuffled. I always shuffle my decks. There go the fake card. This is a destined partnership. There it is. These cards are speaking today, okay? All right? All right. And like I said, this person is going through an awakening. There it goes. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. That's what I said. They're open to receiving of the highest love right now. But while they were over here in this soul tie, this person was secretly yearning for you like a four cups energy. They were miserable under the soul tie. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And this person also wants your forgiveness. It says forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. 
okay? I feel like this person is definitely in regret for the way they treated you. All right, and they're willing, they're ready to take this leap of faith. It's safe to, to make the move that they are considering. So this person, this person is coming back your way, my collective. All right. Oh, wow. These cards just speak for the spoke for themselves. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, now. So we got faith here twice. Open into receiving. That's the spiritual transformation. This integration, this union, that's divine intervention right here with that divine intervention. This relationship will move on to a sacred union. Good. That's okay. Yeah, bye. All right. And while this person is sitting here in this nostalgia energy over you, this person is learning to forgive themselves. This person is also learning how to love oneself as well because that's the only way they could come back. They have to come back fully abundant within themselves before they can offer you any type of uh, relationship, any type of partnership, or even a friendship, okay? But yeah, this person is secretly yearning for you. But I feel like, like I said, this, this right here is a karmic soul tie. This one right here. Either this person was manipulated into staying into a situation or they was under some... They was under some type of spiritual spiritual tie here, okay? Somebody was using a black magic or a spell work on them, keeping them bound, okay? But this person knows that it's safe for them to make the move that they're considering. So for the while they're there considering, I feel like this person is healing. They're healing while they're there in that situation, okay? All right, let's see that. Let's get the, let's get the, yeah, this person is ready to take action. There go the Ace of Cups. This person is ready to come take action with you, baby. They want you, honey. There go that Ace of Cups. All right. Yeah, they're heartbroken. Didn't I tell you this person is in regret? They regret the way they treated you. Okay. Yeah, and they're heartbroken. So this person basically hurt themselves by hurting you, right? Yeah. They're, this is the this is the union right here. Okay. This person is, that's that leap of faith, taking action, ready to move on. This person want to come in and express their love to you. Okay. But some of them are unsure if you're going to even forgive them. Some of them are unsure, yeah, because they know they did you wrong. Look at them, ten of swords. They're in despair, okay? I feel like what they're doing right now, they are trying to figure out or they are going to figure out how to end this situation with the karmic soul tie that they're in, okay? Yeah, yeah, there it go. Death could be dealing with a Scorpio here, okay? But they're ready to end it, okay? I feel like they have ended it. They probably not have physically moved on. But I feel like this person is awakening. That Ace of Swords energy is like an awakening, right? That tower also, this tower also means like, um, tower also represents um, awakening. It means chaos, upheaval, right? It means so many more because if you go to other websites, you know, people will give you different definitions in the tower. But it's basically everything is being broken down, okay? And that's that fake card tower right here for me. This person is ready to end it. Yeah, because over here with the Four of Cups energy, this longing, secretly yearning for you, it's been a burden on this person. It's been very heavy on them. That's why they're sitting right here in this nostalgia energy over you, okay? I feel like that's them. They've been juggling. They've been juggling this situation. They've been prioritizing around this family situation. I feel like they had a family, okay? Yeah, they had a family or they had, like I said, a lot of karmic situations here. Okay, yeah, there to go the six of cups as I split the deck. Damn, these cards are speaking. I like coming out in nature. Okay, the energies are just opening up. See, this person is in the nostalgia. Six, they they stuck in the past over you. Okay, yeah, there go the justice and there go the sun card. And there go the king of wands energy. Yeah, this person was under some type of illusions right here. They had their many options. And the options they chose put them in this situation of this soul tie energy. Okay, brought a lot of burdens. I feel like this person was just... um. I feel like this person was holding on to them for their material wealth. Because you see that King of Wands energy? This person is ready to take the leader, leadership right here. That's that's the Eight of Wands energy. This King of Wands right here. Like I said, there go that Leo energy again. You could be dealing with a Leo. But this person at the time, I feel like what they were chasing was their material wealth. Okay? That's what they were chasing. And they felt like as if they were too... Um, Whatever decisions they made, they feel like as if it was the right mature decision to make. And this person probably felt like maturity was, you know, holding down their material wealth. But it, it, it's more than that. It's That's just being an adult. You feel me? Yeah. So this person now realizes how much they love you. They got a lot of emotions for you, okay? And I, like I said, here go the death and the transformation. Because with this death right here, the Ten of Swords and the death card, this person is definitely healing while they're in that situation with that karmic, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like they with the two of pentacles here, they try to really adapt because the two of pentacles also means prioritizing. It means adaptability. Um, but this person was trying to adapt in that situation over there. And the more they tried to, 
to adapt to that situation, it became more and more of a burden. Okay, yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. It became more and more of a burden. Okay, so this person wants to, they're ready to move forward. All right, it says forgiveness here. All right, and this person wants your forgiveness, but this person also got to forgive themselves. Um, I feel like this person had a lot of childhood wounds, okay? They had a lot of childhood wounds, okay? Inner childhood wounds that, needs, that needed to be fixed. And so what they got was somebody who was mirroring them with this soul tie energy, okay? They got an, a, a, someone that was mirroring their energy fully, right? All right, so this person now with the justice card here, seven of cups here, yeah, okay, we're gonna juggle it, we're gonna shuffle this out, but these cards, I, I'm telling you, boy, they're speaking today, all right, yeah, six of cups, death card here, this person, whatever they done my collective to you, okay, like I said, this person is a regrets for mistreating you, okay, um, some of them know they just completely effed up, they know they completely effed up. Okay. Mm. Some of them already know that you are open to receiving of the highest love and you don't want this person back. They can only sit right here and look back to the past. But I feel like some of y'all already moved on. Okay? You're open to receiving. That's the awakening that you went through, my collective. Okay? You went through this awakening yourself. Okay? This person was only here to teach you a spiritual lesson. Because they thought they had other options. They thought that they would, they would have you sitting here waiting for them while they had their other options to play with. Okay. But there go Justice. You could be dealing with a Libra here. This person want to come and speak their truth right now. Okay. It's like cause and effect. This person is definitely getting their karma. Okay. Definitely dealing with their karma. And for some of them, they're in a marriage with that Justice card. But some of them are have awakened. Um, to this truth and they are ready for happiness. This person wants complete happiness because where they're at, they're not happy. Look at that three of swords energy. Look at this ten of swords energy. This person is in despair. Okay. And this person is at rock bottom right now. They feel like they they feel like they I feel like if this person was under this soul tie for some of y'all, this person's been going through hell for the longest time with this karmic. Okay? Yeah, they've been going through hell. They've been going through hell. Look at that Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords energy. Burdened, okay? So this person now is asking for help from the Most High right now with the opening and receiving. This person is literally bawling their eyes out. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're bawling their eyes out, okay? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. This person is literally crying their heart and their soul out right now. They're looking to God to how they can fix this situation with you, okay? That's what they're doing. They're looking to God to see how they can fix this with you. Let's get another another deck here. Look at the bottom of the deck again. Ten of Swords. Twice. Twice. Look at that. Two different decks, y'all. Look at the Hierophant. This person is in a marriage. This person is married. Okay? Wow. Wow. Yeah, this person is married. They're ready to end it. There it go. This person is absolutely married. Two different decks here. They're in a relationship. This person was being bound. This person was, um, this person was definitely fooled. They were definitely fooled in this relationship. They was bound to this karmic soul tie. This right here. This is it right here. This is it. Wow. Yep. They got with a queen of pentacles. Somebody who's money hungry. Okay, yeah, that's what they got. They got with this karmic. They got this karmic right here, this devil energy right here. Okay, that's what they got. They married this queen of pentacles energy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Toxic. For some, like I said, um, for the other way around, for some of you guys, they're just going to have to deal with their karma because their karma is watching you living your best life, honey, getting new love, honey. That's going to have to, that's their karma. For some of y'all, this is what this is they this is what they're gonna watch you do. Queen of Pentacles, honey. Somebody wants you wants you uh, wants your hand in marriage, and so with that with this longing and and yearning for you, secretly yearning for you, I feel like some of y'all. This is like my Four of Cups when it comes to the message of Love Oracle. This is like my Four of Cups card. Okay, yeah, this person is miserable. They feel I feel like this person is they they know they've missed the opportunity with you. Okay, for some of y'all, this is the father of your child. Okay. All right, but 
This is their karma. <laughs> Watching you glow up, get you a new man, new woman. Take it how it resonates. Y'all already know gender is fluid. But this is it right here. Justice is being served, my, my, my collective. And they're gonna just gonna, and, and you're their karma. Basically watching your glow up in this union right here is their karma. Because you're only receiving to open, uh, open to receiving. Okay, this person chose, I feel like some of them had their sexual addictions. Okay, they have sexual addictions here. Okay, they like to have their many options, but they can't fuck with this type of energy. Really? How they want to come to you with that type of energy? They know they can't. And so they found their match. They found their match. They found somebody who's just like them. Look at these two Ten of Swords energy. This is what they found. They found somebody that's just like them, that's bringing, that betrayed them, just like how they betrayed you. So this person right now is, in, is, 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 is very much so depressed. This person who they're dealing with is also have mental issues too. It's starting to break them down mentally. It's starting to break this person down mentally and physically. Wow. Wow. Yep. Some of you guys are launching forward or the person outside of you is launching forward. This is a cancer energy here as well. Okay. You guys are launching forward. I feel like for some, for the person outside of you, my collective, they definitely, the, the, the polarities are being balanced. Polarities are being balanced here with the justice card here. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like it, bye. Thank you. <laughs> you feel me? So with the seven of wands here, I feel like you guys are protecting your energy from this person. Okay, it took you a while to heal from the situation and persevere and move on. You have to find the courage to do so. And that's what you did when you put this love within yourself, my collective. You put this love into you, my Queen of Pentacles, okay? Okay, so this Queen of Pentacles energy is two different ways to me today. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Or this person is actually protecting themselves. You see this eight of swords energy. I feel like some of y'all, if it's not you, it's the person outside of you um, who's taking now leadership, my collective, this king of wands energy, he's leap, taking that leap of faith. That's him. That's him. He's taking that leap of faith right here. He's jumped in this whip, baby. He got shit under control. He finally got the willpower to conquer this devil energy right here. Conquer his demons. Okay. Because he had to learn how to forgive and heal. And to be open to the highest of receiving of the highest love and energy, okay? For some of y'all, okay? But for some, like I said, it's just going to be their karma to see you move on and be in a, a real divine union here, okay? That's their karma. They're going to have to sit here in this nostalgia. You see how this person... If y'all... I never noticed, but damn, if y'all could see... Do y'all see that face in the clouds? You see that person's nose, the eyes, the mouth, and this person sitting in the window? They're daydreaming about you. That's that seven of cups right here. That's that wishful thinking. They wish they have never let go of this connection with you. They wish they have never chosen their other options. They wish they have chose you, okay? But they got with somebody who is just like them, toxic, just like them, depressed. This person is at rock bottom right now. Double confirmation. Because this is the way they had you. Now the tables have turned. This is how they are, okay? All right now. All right now. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is like, this is just karma, okay? Yeah. Eight of Swords, I feel like some of them has gotten to a physical altercation and they're going to have five of cups. Like I told you, regrets. Regrets. That's that, that's that forgiveness right here. Forgiving yourself and another will help you move forward. That's the regrets because some of them right now, they had you in competition. Okay? I feel like with the Justice card here and the Chariot card here, some of them are fighting with this karmic right now. Somebody, there was some type of physical altercation here. All right? Yeah, this person, yeah, yeah. Or if it's the person that's outside of you, my collective, like I said, they're fighting with this karmic right now. All right? Or they're willing to come in and fight for this love. They're ready to come in and defend it. Okay? But I feel like y'all ain't even going to have that. You ain't going to interrupt my new love. You ain't going to interrupt my new love. I feel like some of y'all will call the cops on this person if they even try to interrupt your new relationship. Okay? Yeah, you will get this person arrested. Okay? You're not playing any more games. You're over it. Too bad. Let them go about their business with their regrets and their remorse. I feel like it's too bad, too sad, so sad, too late. Okay? For some of them, it's too late. But see, with the Eight of Pentacles here, you're busy focusing on your own relationship or focusing on your own money. You're working on your abundance, but this person want to come in and work it out with you. Okay? They're ready to come put in the work. With the Nine of Swords, um, this Nine of Swords energy, they realize all that they chose was a waste of time. That nine of swords, this person can't sleep, they can't eat. This person is even drinking, I'm hearing. Okay? Mm-hmm. This person is drinking. Yeah. This is the type of energy that would leave the house at night because they can't sleep and drive around the town. Just drive around, probably drive past your house. Okay? 
But there you go. I feel like for the person who's coming back, they walked away from this situation, okay? Life is changing, baby. It's a wheel of fortune here. Life is changing for this person. If they're the ones that are still sitting here in this karmic energy, they're healing. Life is changing right here. They're letting go of this karmic cycle because this is a destined partnership. Again, this is fate, destiny. There it is. Here it is twice, three times. Three cards that says this is a destined partnership. Okay, fate. Okay. Yeah, with that judgment here, yeah, they're going to emperor, baby. He's coming in to make this offer, baby. All right, he definitely wised up. He learned his spiritual lesson over here with this karmic energy. And like I said, for the for the emperor, and for the emperor being here, this emperor has definitely, he's on this level. I feel like when he left, he was right here, this king of wands energy. Okay, I feel like when y'all separated, he felt like, you know, you know, that ego, that pride, you was going to stroke it, you know, chasing his material shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. But right now, I feel like over the time that he's been in this situation, it definitely matured him, made him wiser. He definitely got his judgment. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And he's much wiser now. So this person is coming back as an emperor. They're not coming back with no bullshit. I'm going to tell you that right now. This person is going within. They're going through a rebirth because the judgment also means rebirth. It means inner calling and it's an absolution. And I feel like this person is absolutely ending the relationship with the karmic. Here it is. They're ending the relationship with this karmic because if this karmic was using any type of spell work on your on this emperor, them chains have been broken. Them chains have been broken. He's letting go of this marriage. Look at all this right here. He's letting go. Yeah, he's done. He's over it. Okay. He does this karmic, this karmic energy right here. This karmic don't like the fact that this emperor has broken the ties. Yeah. Yeah. Because they was under this soul tie right here. They was going through this life cycle with this karmic for a very long time. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. But that life cycle is over. He's coming in to make this offer, honey. Okay, for some, there go that nine of cups. I told you they were drinking nine of cups energy. This is how this person would like drown themselves in alcohol to, you know, to try to try to try to feel some type of enjoyment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, let's pull up the energy here. Let's see what's what's the scoop here. Let's get what's the scoop. But this person, I feel like this this emperor. Or you, take it how it resonates, because this is y'all with y'all new man. That emperor's that new man, okay? And I feel like some of y'all ain't gonna even gonna have it. They might even want to try to come over here with their toxic ass and talk about they want to fight with you, fight with your new man, because they, they, got, they got addictions, okay? They're trying to compete with this King of Wands energy. This King of Wands is trying to compete with this emperor energy, but he's no match. He was close enough, but he wasn't, he wasn't it. You feel me? He wasn't the it. And I feel like with that, you guys are open to receiving this emperor's coming in your life, or this is the person who's letting go of this karmic energy and now has wise, has learned his has learned his has learned his lesson. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So what I'm picking up here, I hope you guys are following. Okay. I feel like this um there is definitely this King of Wands energy here. This is where this person left you, where they were at when they left, when they thought they had their options, okay? That's what they thought, they was gonna have better options. And they basically got with a karmic that kept them under some type of soul tie here. And they regret that shit, they regret it. They absolutely regret it, okay? Um, and they regret walking away from you, okay? For some of y'all, they regret walking away from you and letting this situation end, okay? Um, but also, what I'm picking up here is this King of Wands also could be the same very emperor right here. When you left them or when they walked away from you, this is where they were at, this King of Wands energy. They allowed their ego to get the best of them, right? But once they got over here in this karmic situation, oh, oh, it wised them up, honey. It wised them up. They even married this karmic, okay? Um, and for this Emperor energy as well, I feel like this King of Wands, this some of these King of Wands energies, this Leo energy, yeah, because here go the Sun card, okay? This Leo energy right here, this person is very dominating. They're very controlling. They got a lot of ego. They got a lot of pride. And I feel like what they're going to try to do with this, with the chariot energy here, they're going to want to try to rush in and come and express their love to you. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. Okay, do you get catch up? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. All right. No problem. Okay. So what this person is going to do, they're going to try to rush in and try to end your relationship with this, with this emperor right here. This is what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to take, see if they can take this emperor's place, but there's nobody better than the emperor, honey. He's the highest of all the whole deck. They're going to try to come in and want to work this situation out with you. That's what they're going to want to do. They're going to, and, and then it's like they're willing to fight. But you're going to, you ain't having it. You ain't having it, my, my collective. No, you're not. 
No, you're not. You're not having it. They're going to seven of wands. You're not having it. You're going to defend this union that God has given you. Too bad for this person who left. So that's what's going to happen, okay? I feel like some of y'all, they're going to come in here with their toxic ass, drinking, tipsy, okay? Yeah, they're going to come in here with this tipsy energy. Where's that nine of cups energy? They're going to come in here drunk. They're going to try to talk about the past and blah, blah, blah. But that's their problem. They're going to stay here with their heartbreak. They're going to stay here with this grief. They're going to have to watch you st step up your game and do you because you're accepting this higher love. This is the higher love here. This is what you're open to receiving. And you're not having it, okay? So that's three different energies here, all right? So take what resonates, Mike. They're going to nine of cups, yeah. You're enjoying yourself, all right? Ten of pentacles, ten of cups, honey. There it go. There it go. And they're going to king of wands again. This is what they're going to want to try to come in and try to interrupt your family, your abundance, your enjoyment. No, you're not having it. Stay over there with your ass. Yeah, they're going to come in and tell you how much they really love you and blah, blah, blah. The ace of cups is here twice. We ain't having it. You're not having it, my collective. There you go. You're receiving to the highest. They're going to empress. And they're going to emperor. Okay? Where's that emperor at? Yeah, you're not having it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This King of Wands is out here twice. They go to Ace of Cups. Nah, you're not having it. They go to Ace of Cups twice. Now, now they want this love. Now they want this love. Now. This is what they want now, but it's too bad for some of them, okay? Yeah. You too. Yeah. Yeah. Empress energy here. You're not having it. And we've seen the Emperor. Yeah, you're not having it. Okay? So if you guys enjoy this read, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like I said. You're moving forward. You're launching forward with your new boo with that emperor because you found somebody who is just as much to open and receiving this love that you're having. Okay, yeah. This emperor is up to this right here. Where he at? He is high. Oh, there he go. Emperor, empress. Okay, look at that. This is what, this is, this is their karma. This is their karma. Justice have been served. You're going to, you're going to get married and they're going to have to watch you glow up and be happy with that. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups, happy life, new man or new woman. Take it how it resonates because when they had you, they should have treated you good. Yeah. So that's what I have for you guys. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. And for that karmic who was trying to hold on to your emperor or to your empress, that cycle is over. That black magic, whatever this person was doing is over. Okay. Yeah. 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 They stuck with that. They're going to have to hold their burdens. They stuck with that. They're going to have to hold that. Okay? Damn, I'm kind of tempted to find out what's the scoop here. <laughs> I'm tempted here. Hold on. Let's pull something else before I end this video, y'all. Hold on. Let me just clear up my... Let me just clear up my deck here real quick. My table here. Okay? This person is over it. You're over it. Or your emperor is over it. Or your empress is over it. But whoever this is, I'm picking up two energies with the king of wands here. It came out twice. You're not having it. They're going to try to come back here with their arrogance and their ego. And you're not having it. You ain't breaking up my new relationship. Nah, I'm good. When you had me, you should have held on to me. Okay? I'm hearing Kelly Price. You should have told me I wasn't wild enough. You should have told me I didn't smile enough. But you led me on. Yep, that's what I'm hearing. Okay? And I never should have wasted this time. So they're going to have to watch you with your emperor or your empress. Too bad. They could stay over there with their toxic ass. You're going to have to, you're gonna, some of y'all going to have to get this person arrested. Because they're going to want to come in and fight. They're going to want to come in and fight. Yeah. Judgment on their ass. Yeah. They're going to want to come in and fight for this love. And you're not having it. You're moving on. Okay. You're moving on. Yeah, because there go the marriage card. Emperor, Empress. There it is. And for some, like I said, this mask, your emperor has finally awakened from them to soul ties. And they're breaking away from this karmic life cycle because this is destiny. Okay, so if that, if that karmic was trying to hold your person bound with magic, that shit is done. It's over. That, that reunion, that soul tie that they were bound to is over. Okay, your person is taking that leap of faith. That's why they walked away. With that, with that chariot card, they also found the willpower to move on. Okay, they're coming in and they're moving fast, baby, because they feel like somebody else could take you. All right, you've seen that, emperor energy, that empress energy as well. Okay, they know somebody else could come and swoop you up. All right, they know this. So let's get the scoop here. Let's see what's going on here. Cleanse your space, honey. Okay, and celebration here. There will be a reason to celebrate, and that's that wedding. That's that wedding. That is absolutely that wedding. Okay? You guys, some of you guys are planning your wedding. Okay? Some of you guys are or will be planning a wedding. Okay? Do remember gender, I mean, time is fluid. Time is fluid. Okay? 
Yeah, this person is realizing they went the wrong way and they're sitting here obsessing over you, okay? Somebody's obsessing over you. Yeah, that's that eight of swords. Okay, okay, so someone is wishing ill intent, okay, and I feel like that's that person who wants to come back and fight, or as well that karmic who your person is letting go of. Someone is lying, okay, so it could be either, either or, yep, some of these actions is catching up to them, that's that karma, and they're going to blockages and the obstacles that was in the way, that's that soul tie to me, that's that soul tie, okay. Okay, yep, secrets are being revealed, okay? <laughs> yep, missing piece to the puzzle. This person is now realizing the missing piece of the puzzle of their life is you, okay? Yeah, yep, this is this person drowning in their emotions, hidden emotions, because that's what they were doing. They was hiding their emotions while they was over there in that karmic situation. But see, access is denied. I feel like that access is denied is somebody going to jail or this person is who you're, you're, you're denying their access to you, to your whole entire energy, okay? You're not having it, okay? Some of them got with a copycat. They thought they could replace you, okay? Yeah, but they're now realizing they was going the wrong direction, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep, and there I go. They're obsessed with you, okay? I feel like this copycat is also obsessed with you, too. It could be male or female. Take your heart resonance, okay? Yeah, somebody is catfishing, okay? Someone is uh, someone is not who they appear to be. So that King of Wands energy is coming back, acting like they're so in love with you. They got a lot of emotions for you. But in their head, Eight of Swords energy, I'm going to tell you, they, got, they still have a lot of negative thoughts. And if they have their addictions, their addictions still come before you, okay? Um, with the Eight of Wands energy as well, somebody could be online pretending to have a fake account it could be this copycat that got a fake account right here that's watching you online with that eight of wands energy okay some of y'all probably found out that this person was a fake and you blocked your account okay but see you right here living in your life purpose and that emperor as well you're gonna find somebody that's living in their life purpose just like you that match okay because somebody's still coming back with their bullshit they trickery and you're not having it okay so that's what I have for you, my soul subscribers. Yo. I wish you guys love and light. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.